this time. Australia's one win away from securing its first series victory in England since 2001. Being up two nils, something we should be really proud of as a group. It's a tough one to, to swallow, sort of getting so close. The tourists needed six wickets on day five. Well taken. Carey again. England's pursuit of 371 ground to a halt when a shocked Johnny Bairstow was stumped, an incident that incensed the crowd. The English players were also fuming. Didn't look like a particularly well-mannered conversation. A fired-up Ben Stokes revived memories of his heroic match-winning innings in the third test four years ago. He gives you nightmares, that guy. Seriously, uh, PTSD from Headingley. A missed opportunity when Stokes was on 114 looked like it would be costly as the hard-hitting skipper continued his assault. Yes, indeed. Some real problems to work through there for us bowlers and, you know, as a captain, I thought Stokes was fantastic. With the home team needing 70, the Australians finally had their man. And Carey Hazelwood combine to end a quite magnificent innings. We're 2-0 down, but, you know, we've got three games left and, you know, we've won series 3-0 uh, against New Zealand, 3-0 against Pakistan, so we know we can do it. History suggests otherwise. The only team to overcome a 2-0 deficit to win the series was a Don Bradman-inspired Australia in 1937. Duncan Huntsdale, ABC News. Singing out, same old Aussies, always cheating. There were ugly scenes at the home of cricket as Australians left the field at lunch on the final day. The normally genteel long room reached boiling point as the members vented their disgust. Some of the stuff that was coming out of the members' mouth was really disappointing and um, I wasn't just going to stand by and cop it. I just talked to a few of them throwing out some pretty big allegations and I just called them up on it. This was the incident that sparked the fire. Oh, now this is going to be interesting. Before the ball had been deemed dead by the umpire, quick-thinking keeper Alex Carey caught his English counterpart, Johnny Bairstow, napping. The stumping was certainly within the rules of the game, but whether it was within its spirit is now at the centre of furious debate. If the shoe was on the other foot, I would probably just have to have a little think around the sort of whole spirit of the game and things like that. So, um, look, it's happened, it's out. Is it going to affect relations between the teams? Well, I can't imagine we'll be having a beer anytime soon, if that's what you're asking. The Australian captain defended Carey's actions and the decision not to withdraw the appeal. I thought it was totally fair play. Um, that's how the rule is. I know some people might, uh, might disagree. You know, you see Johnny do it all the time. He did it day one to Davey Warner. He did it in 2019 to Steve. It's a really common thing for keepers to do. Cricket Australia said its players were verbally abused and physically touched as they made their way through the members' area. The MCC came and apologised for the behaviour of some of the members. Three members have been suspended pending an investigation by the Marlebone Cricket Club, which described the scenes as wholly unacceptable. Tom Maddox, ABC News.